Good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Teddy's looking like a big kid. Yes. And James is uncertain if he likes handing down his toys or not. I had to do the the zoom out the the wide angle for that. <laughs> that was a cool trick. I'm actually super surprised that he was doing that because he actually got a bruise on his head. I don't know if you saw it from any of the footage yesterday. I'll show it to you in a little bit. Um, but James took a tumble last night and he wasn't going full speed. It was on that like asphalt like um like row like in between the lawn last night he got he was on his hands and knees he was going fast and then like caught himself and was like on his hands and knees and then he like his head slowly hit the ground but only from like six inches up but enough to like instantly bruise on his head i'll show it to you i like think about like what could have happened and it really freaks me out um but thankfully it was minor but that was a steep hill, but he had so much fun. He can do this animal puzzle all by himself now, and it's quite... Uh-oh, where is it? Are you looking for the cow? It's very impressive. i show you. Such a funky bruise, but... But he seems to be okay. <laughs> we love our potato heads. Thank you. Thank you. Teddy's just chilling in the in the chaos. Woohoo! We found them all. Thank goodness. Just a quick hug for Mike Wazowski. Okay, this baby is super cute. We are headed on our daily nap stroll. I thought it was supposed to be hot this week, but I think those storms that came through like just really cooled things off. It's in the 70s and by the lake, the breeze is just fabulous. So I'm gonna enjoy my stroll, pick up some diapers from Jewel. I think Jamesy's out. Yeah. Look at these cool window graphics. So cute. Yes, he is out. Just lowered the stroller. Um, and yeah, I'm, what I've been doing on this walk is just planning in my head all of the different festivals that are like basically every single weekend, like something's going on. So we don't want to miss anything. So I'm trying to like line it all up in my head of how we want to work it and then when I get home I'm gonna put it in a calendar so we don't forget don't mind the kids laundry above me it's up there so James doesn't knock it down um we're all kind of playing catch up from our late, like our late night last night I didn't get to edit it was I mean I fell asleep in the car and so I just finished editing now James is up from his nap and our no spend August is proving to be difficult because we love a good pick me up. We love a good drink. We love a good snack. I'm just <laughs> you're just looking at me with the widest eyes. We're not getting anything. I'm saying it's difficult because we like I went to Jewel. No, I said it's that's what we like. I got body armor. <laughs> we love a good pick me up. We love a good drink. We love a good snack. No, it's not. It says we like that. 
because I went to Jewel earlier and we're just like, but that's why we're doing this to like show ourselves how much we do get little pick-me-ups. But they're so nice. They're so fun. Evie, Evie, Evie. You're enjoying me now? Sarah's dishing up dinner right now, but I might've ruined it because when James woke up like 45 minutes ago, he wanted waffles. So I made him two waffles and he ate all of them. All right, so. Zhuzh up the peanut noodles from the other day with tikka masala. Ooh, delicious. Complimentary flavored. Yeah, and it smells salad. delicious. Oh. Ooh. This is like my mom's signature combo. Nice. I see so sad. He's trying to climb up into the basement. Our friends in Disney World just sent us a video of John and Carissa from Run Disney saying hi to me. I think we should put it in the vlog. So right here. Hey, look who it is. Uh, John and Carissa from Run Disney. Uh, just want to shout out to Peter there in Chidetown. Woo -woo! Next stop, Chidetown. Little bit of my down little road. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's like the weekend already. I'm already in the weekend mode now. Also, I need to go on a run. <laughs> What's going on here? You guys both have binkies in. And watching our vlogs. We're not our vlogs. We're watching Colleen vlogs. That's why it's so loud. Yeah. Our favorite vlogger's favorite vlogger. Your favorite vlogger. We're your favorite vlogger. We're your favorite vloggers. And it's your favorite vlogger's favorite vlogs. He's been sleeping all day. He must be growing. He's been eating all day. He's been eating. He's been eating us out of house and home, like they say. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye, Mama. We're supposed to be going on a walk to the store to get baby wipes. You wanna bring your chocolate? with? We can, maybe we can stop somewhere and use it. Why are you going to the playground when we brought the chalk to use over there on the sidewalk? So J the James wasn't going to come with me to get the stroller from the car, but then when he saw me getting my shoes ready, he started walking towards the door and saying, like, bye, bye, towards Sarah. So he came with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's go play with this. Um, and so Sarah wasn't ready with Teddy to go to the store, to go on a walk, to go to the store and around the neighborhood. So I was say she was like, why don't you take him to the park while I get ready? And we're gonna play with some chalk. Can you say thank you, Aunt Cindy? Thank you. There's like seven wrappings on this thing. These are wrapped individually, hold on. He might not want, it looks like he doesn't want it. It's not a marker, sweetie. Look, well, confusing, right? You don't have to take it out like a marker. Whoa! What happens when an 18 month old can rip your chalk holder up? Yeah, watch. Look at There you go. Nice. That's it. You just use that. Oh. Good job. So we're not using chalk holders. Got it. Nice. And this is the first time he's playing with chalk. We're gonna go walk down Halstead to go to the Target. And it looks like there's signs that the street closures are gonna be happening soon because this weekend is market days. It's like a, a different version. I'll have to look up and see if there's an actual description of it, but it's like a vendor market version of Pride here in um, East Lakeview on the northern side of Chicago. So it'll be like another LGBTQ plus kind of event weekend. There's food, there's art, I think. Um, i trying to remember. I think we went to this last year. There's bands like there usually is at Chicago street festivals. Um, so just another good old Chicago street festival that we're looking forward to. I'm ready for the weekend. Like I had a good work week, but it's pretty busy. And um, there's some people out of work tomorrow. There's people leaving work early tomorrow. I don't have right now a super busy day meeting wise tomorrow. Yeah? 
Want me to make a star for you to color? Uh, Sarah and I, Sarah realized like, if we make like, a star or like a smiley, circle smiley face, like he'll color it in. So that's what we've been kind of doing. Hey, James. What did you find? Here you go. Here you go. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. He's got the whole park to himself. Oh man, found another noodle. That's what I love about these these little parks in the city is that people just bring fun things for the park to enjoy. So content. Oh yeah, sleepy. <laughs> Just playing in some sand, forcing our hand and making it a bath night for sure. <laughs> it wasn't going to be. Oh, now it but is. He, he just loves it so much. I was like, should we go to a park that doesn't have one? No, he loves I sand just, pits. It's a night. You have such joy. Yeah, he loves it. No spin August is real hard in Chicago, especially when new places like this grand opening. Taipei Cafe. Look at that. See? We should go support local business. <laughs> uh, Teddy had a tight stomach when we started walking here. It was looking pretty bleak at the first. But he pulled, pulled it together and relaxed. So we're all about ready to start Halloween stuff yesterday, but Target's got us beat. They have Santa Coca-Cola out. Glass bottles. Your mother would be so happy. There you are. Oh, nice. So this is a cool event going on at Wrigley in September. If you're interested and you live in Chicago or you're visiting. Stay. Don't you wish all kids wanted to brush your teeth as bad as James does? Oh, it was the book. Oh, it was Hug Machine. Also, oh. what? We like to do story time together, but he's sleeping. They make them go completely nuts. I am the hug. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. Ooh. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We didn't sign off last night. It's a two-parter. Thank you. Goodness. Just indoctrinating James with the, with the best Magic Kingdom stage show of all time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you. James C is at the doctor again. It feels like we've been here so many times recently. Um, but his little injection site from his chicken pox vaccine a few months ago is still kind of irritated, so we're having it <laughs> looked at. Got a snoozing baby there. Unless there is at the doctor with the other baby. A good Friday for work. Only one meeting. So I'm closing up some stuff from all week, getting my week prepared for next week. Pretty good. Can't wait for the end of the day. Only have a few more hours. Um, and then we'll see where the rest of the evening goes. We kind of have another, like, we have plans at least for Saturday and Sunday, so I'm not sure what we're gonna end up doing today. So sorry I got cut off. The doctor walked in the room. Our pediatrician's office is so speedy. It's so lovely. The Cubbies are back in town. We have tickets this weekend and I'm very excited to be back. We haven't been there in so long. So sorry, I got distracted driving by Wrigley. Um, it wasn't an injection site issue. It actually just looks like eczema. So we just got prescribed a cream and hopefully that'll knock it out. It is wild in our neighborhood today because Market Days is this weekend on Halstead and the Cubs are back in town. So I was so late to his appointment because usually it takes me less than 10 minutes to get there. And I was literally like over 20, like it took me over 20 minutes to get there. Crazy, thankfully. I was able to like take that information and come home a different way. So yeah, that is just a little recap. It's so easy. James has had a lot of poking and prodding at the doctor, so it's nice to have just an easy, an easy visit. I do not 
he's like starting to like get to the doctor and know that it might not be pleasant. And so I just don't want him to be traumatized. He's always enjoyed going into the office and seeing the staff. And so um, hopefully today was like a good day in the books in his mind. Hey, James, he woke up from the car ride after Sarah brought him in. So I'm taking him on a little walk to see if he goes back to sleep. And check it out, a lot of activity going on. On Halstead to get ready for market days that starts tomorrow. We got temporary ice boxes. All the intersection, the streets going off of Halstead in our area are fenced off. Pretty exciting, temporary sanitation spots getting set up. I'm assuming outdoor bar areas and bathroom areas. See, look at the fencing. Bigger setup happening at Roscoe's, more ice buckets in a big old stage outside of our 7-Eleven. All right, I remember this. Definitely remember this. I don't recall this. October, September 30th, October 2nd, Oktoberfest. And Our Lady of Mount Carmel East parking lot. I'm gonna check that out this year for sure. Look at how much this kid's fighting in there. He's fallen asleep three times. And the littlest thing wakes him up. I will win this battle. It will. Maybe, just maybe, the beautiful sounds of Lakeshore Drive will lull James to sleep on this Friday afternoon. James won the battle. I lost. A nap did not happen. Go away. Come back. Go away. Come back. I don't know where my hat went. I gotta find it. Oh, I found my plant-based one. That'll work. Um, Sarah was just saying she just, you have to get creative when you're playing while you're in a uh, post-nursing um, situation. All right. So, we have a plan for tonight. We're gonna get productive and hang stuff that we've been talking about hanging since we moved in. And considering we've been here like a year and a half, considering we're trying to eye finding a place to build down in Florida. I'm like, all right, let's get these last things hung so we can enjoy them, which ironically enough, last time we did that, it was like Jamesy's nursery in Florida. It was like, we finally got that room and our bedroom settled within basically six months of us moving out of there, which is kind of ironic. Not saying they were moving out of this apartment in six months, but hey, who knows what the world has in store for us. But look at this beautiful, frame that I bought when I worked at the Disney store over 10 years ago. It's from, if you remember, the anniversary edition. There's a decorative plate. It says, the anniversary edition decorative plate, the first Disney cartoon to have synchronized sound debuted in 1928 with his foot tapping and carefree whistling. Mickey Mouse has been a lovable icon mascot for the Walt Disney Company. Um, this was retail price $59.95. I got it for... It eventually went on sale for 50, then went on sale for 30, and then I got my discount because I was a cast member at the time. I think I bought that thing for like 10 bucks or something like that. And it's gorgeous, and we've just literally been having it in storage for over 10 years. This is a matte finish. Look how cute Mickey and Minnie are. So I'm gonna go to Jewel, um, grab fancy drinks because even though we're doing no spend August, buying at a grocery store to us feels like a loophole because there's street festivals that we're not gonna be buying fancy drinks at. We'll be buying them at home and walking around our neighborhood with them or our home. And so I'm gonna look for a plate holder for that. And then I have, if you remember when we first moved in, see that white spot? That's from a 3M strip. I hung up a Main Street frame and a Small World frame, because Small World, they fell. I mounted uh, picture frame anchors to them. So they're gonna get hung later today there. The plate's gonna go up there. We're gonna clean off that. And then we have a cool um, Pirates of Caribbean thing that'll uh, go above those, those bookshelves I'll show you later. We got that from Sarah's parents' house when we cleaned it out and we were gonna sell it. So that's kind of cool because it's a piece of Sarah's mom and dad's like decor. Amongst other things, like a really cool cross that we're gonna hang right here. Productiveness on a Friday at five to five. This kid gets a sucker from one of the workers at Jewel. He keeps his leg up like, hey, it's Friday. It's the summertime, time to party. 
He also got a Halloween toy. Now we're back from the store. All you gotta do is watch me. It doesn't count. Here, do I kind of cheated. Well, first of all, there was no plate holder. But the kind of cheat was I realized I had money it's sitting in my Venmo account that, you know, it was like forgotten money. It's like the, it, finding 20 bucks in your jeans that, uh, in this age. It's remembering you have money in your cash app or your Venmo app or any of those. So I used my Venmo debit card to pull from my, my Venmo account. So it didn't come out, didn't go on a credit card. Sports! And didn't come out of our checking account. And he got a sucker! Do you look cool with that sucker? James, he is uncertain. We're gonna try and put him on Peter's back. I think I needed some of these things loosened first. Oh, yeah? It suggests you put them on your front and then you slide them around. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Is that better? I don't know how happy he is. I mean, let's go backpacking through Europe. I feel like if he, if he like could turn his head. Do you think those? Do you think his shoulder straps aren't supposed to be there, or do he fall out? Better? Do you like it? Are you a little puppet kid? Good. I mean... All right, let's go to work, James. Oh my gosh, this candle is Disney at Halloween. I don't know, I think it's the buttercream. It's good. All right, first thing hung is that. It's right by the doorway. Ooh, see who's coming. Next thing we're hanging is this hand-painted and almost 100 years old Pirates of the Caribbean. Check it out. There's a little button back here. Mentel no tails, am I right? It's gonna go above this bookshelf in the boys' room. Second hanging achieved, and I actually despise hanging stuff on this wall because there's it's an it's an old it's an original wall from this hundred year old building. It's all plaster and boarding behind it, so it's terribly difficult. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that thing falls. It should be terrible because it's old and hand painted and almost a hundred years old. You hopping down? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing we're doing is hanging the new steam mop right there because all of this is going to go away in the next week and a half because this is where the Peloton's going to go. So it's not going to be cutesy and tootsy kitchen life. It's going to be workout cleaning. No fun. Just kidding. All the fun. But that came with a cool anchor and it's going to make it easier to, it's going to like remind us to use it all the time with it being like in our face right there. So this is going to hang. I have to measure it. It's going to get hung somewhere like this. It's gonna be great. Third thing, hung. Boo, yeah. Easily accessible. We're gonna use that thing every day. That's the new goal. We're gonna do at least one room every day. Third thing, hung. James might be done. What are you doing? What are you chewing on? Okay, I'm gonna start cooking dinner. Peter got me these sand pellegrinos while I was at Jewel. And I'm gonna make a little fancy drink with body armor. So I'm gonna put the rest of this in here, which I already drink most of, and then uh, fill this with like half, I'll just fill it up the rest of the way. Fancy! I'm gonna make this vegan enchilada casserole for dinner, but also my favorite soy chorizo from uh, Trader Joe's. I'm gonna heat it up and we're gonna have a taco salad but pretty simple so i am bummed because i thought i had black beans and i have about a million cans of garbanzo beans um but no black beans which was going to be like the main part of jamesy's dinner so we'll just see how see how it goes um but our salad is going to be even less <laughs> or even more simple than i thought it was going to be um but it'll still be good It'll still be good. I'm gonna make some like avocado dressing with one of the little prepackaged guacamoles I have with lime juice. I'm gonna just like thin it up and then pour that over the lettuce like a dressing and then the chorizo and some chopped tomatoes 
um, will go on top. So that'll be the salad element. I do think I'm going to heat up some tortillas though and also have tacos because I just love, I love this chorizo so much. Alrighty, here is the salad done up. There is avocado in there and tomatoes. And then here's that enchilada with the side tacos with that Trader Joe's jalapeno sauce on it. Jamesy's having little bite-sized tacos with avocado and chorizo. Hey. Makes up for me. Thinking we had black beans. Uh, it's a little late, but we finally got this up, these two up, since this is an interior wall and we our neighbors next door actually moved out and that's an exterior wall. So I felt comfortable hammering this late. We got those finally hung. I had to attach hanging pieces in the back before they were just strips. So now we've got that. Um, We'll get the plate holder to put the Mickey Minnie plate up there. And then James is obsessed with this. He keeps coming over and wanting me to just come over and turn it on. And then we actually found an existing hook in our living room to move a wreath to put this metal wreath up. So that's like six or seven things figured out. Pretty productive. She's so exhausted. James fell right asleep. So I'm gonna put Teddy down, so I'm gonna start cleaning up because the next thing of the night is we're gonna sweep the living room, this hallway, the kitchen, and then we're going to steam mop it all. All right, we are cleaned up, organized, toys put away, smells like a Disney World Magic Kingdom Halloween party, and this, is our new Bissell Power Fresh Slim. A little different than the model that we bought from the Sakards. So the thought is, while I do the selfie, I'm gonna be closing the blinds because hey, people coming in here creeping on me while I'm cleaning. The thought is, like tonight we're gonna do a larger area of our living accommodations. We're gonna do living room, hallway, dining room, maybe the kitchen. Uh, but then the idea is after this day doing that, we're gonna do like, basically one room a day and alternate it so that like we never have to do a whole big to do it'll just be like nightly routine maintenance kind of like if you were to dust a room a day which we should probably do too also we should probably get routine haircuts but you know ever since we've not been on the our first disney world apartment you guys know i've kind of had issues finding a, a barber i like um so maybe i just will grow my hair out until we live in florida again That looks good, it smells good, and most of all, feels good on my feet. Look at that. Oh, I'm so glad we got it. I'm glad we would be happy to incorporate this into our, like, our regular routine. It's late. Um, Sarah was editing. I was watching Home from Apple TV Plus. But we are going to go to bed. We love you guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>